Hey there, good looking. Join me for this total body strength workout. Listen, it's low impact. There's going to be no jumping, no cardio. This is pure strength workout. Now you do need some equipment for this workout. I recommend a few pairs of dumbbells from what you consider are light to heavy. That way you can switch out dependent on what muscle group we're training. For example, your legs are going to take a higher load. Whereas when we do the shoulder work, you're going to want a lighter dumbbell for that. Now, if you're doing this in real time, this is also day 10 of our Unstoppable Challenge, volume two. All right, gather your gear, let's go get warmed up. All right, everybody, as you can see, I have my beautiful niece, Cassidy, helping me out in today's workout. She's gonna be demoing a lot of the exercises so I can really cue you and coach you to success. All right, we're gonna head down onto the ground to warm up. Cassidy has no idea what we're doing here, so <laughs> let's, um, actually, neither do I, Cassidy, so you're, you're, in good, you're in good hands. All right, from here, I want you to shift the body weight forward and back. Just warming up into the wrists, into the forearms. We are gonna be doing some push-ups in today's workout. However, if you don't like push-ups, I will have an alternative for you. Alrighty, three more, two, and one. Now I want you to rotate the fingertips so now they're facing the knees and shift your body weight side to side. So today's strength workout is a total body. It's a tri set. So you have three exercises and then we also have three rounds. Front of body, lower body, and back of body. That's how we're training today. Last three, two, and one. Let's get back into that. Fingertips pointed straight ahead, knees apart, wrists underneath the shoulders. Extend one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. Reach it. Toes to fingers, release, other side. Warming up into the core now. As we extend that arm, let's lift and turn the thumb up to the ceiling. As you extend the leg, keep that hip squared with your floor so we're not shifting. Good job. Four more. Three. Last one. Perfect. Big toes together, knees are open. Sit back for me, extend your right arm forward. Now take your left arm underneath and then rotate and look up. So we're sitting back on our heels so that we stabilize the low back. It stays pretty stable here while we now rotate through the T-spine and the shoulder. Two more. Last one. Left arm down, right arm threads under. Rotate. Take a look at the hand with your gaze. Last two. One more. Good job. Let's go back into all fours again. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees up into a bare hover. We just want a couple of inches of clearance between the knees and the ground. Now push the shoulder blades apart slightly. Neck is long. Breathe, putting a little fire in the core and the quadriceps. 10 more seconds. Really spread those fingers, grip the mat with your fingertips, take some of the pressure off your wrists. In three, two, one, drop the knees and come on up, nicely done. From this position, just take it into an alternating lunge pattern and you drop that back knee however deep it feels comfortable for you. But we wanna open up the hip flexor now. Arms are going up because we want to continue warming up into the upper body. Thumbs are going to point behind you. Good. My advanced people, maybe your knee's coming all the way down to the ground. Good. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Shake it out. All right. We're going to get busy in about 30 seconds. Let me quickly demo the first exercise. It's a T push up. There'll be an alternative in which you keep the arms up and do an alternating chest press if push ups aren't your jam. But basically, it is from the knees, push up, come up off the knees, T push up. Modified. Push up, 
stay on the knees, rotate, top leg straightens. All right, so Cassidy, everybody, let's get set up. First off is you want your hands just a bit wider than your body. Now I want you to screw the hands into the ground, just like you are going to screw some jar lids. Good. And then come up and rotate. Perfect. Let's do another push up. Nice cast and rotate. Good. So you got that option at home. You can stay on the bottom knee. So here, Cassie will stay on the bottom knee. Maybe next rep, she'll stay on the bottom knee. <laughs> Good job. And then that top arm is just gonna line up with the body. When we're done, we're gonna grab a heavy dumbbell and place it on the hips and stay on the mat to train into the low back, glutes, and hamstrings. Good job. Now, I want you to see if you can come all the way down, chest coming really close to your mat. Elbows are tucking in a bit. Time. All right, so we're gonna have a weighted bridge. So let's shift down. Dumbbell's gonna just rest on the hips and let the hands hold the dumbbell, but that's it. Everything's resting on the hips. Heels are close to the bum, hip width apart. Drives through the heels, lift the hips up. So when we come up, we really wanna feel the glutes engaging here. We're not spreading the rib cage. So we're not just jacking those hips up. It's all coming through the glutes. Now, when you drop the hips down, it's just gonna kiss the mat, all right? You're not hanging out there. We want constant tension. Really nice move too, FYI, if lunges aren't your thing and say there's a workout that you're doing and they're doing alternating lunges and you're like, nope, don't wanna do them, head down on the mat and do these guys. Not gonna work the exact same muscles as a lunge, but it is gonna be a little more knee friendly for you. Now in about five seconds, we need a heavy dumbbell on each hand and we're gonna stand. One more rep here. Good job and come on up. All right, so we're gonna stand into a deadlift. So. We want a neutral spine, deadlift, row up, come up. So let's give that a try, everybody. Feet hip width apart, okay? Pull the shoulders back. Let's do a deadlift. Good. Now do a row. Now finish the deadlift and stand up. Perfect. So we've got this nice long spine. Perfect. I'm going to get Cassie to go this direction so she can, everyone can see her spine. Good. From the crown of the head all the way down the tailbone. She's just focused on keeping her core engaged, keeping that spine, and then letting the dumbbells come up, squeezing the shoulder blades. So this is the last move, okay? We're gonna take it back to our T push-ups, or maybe you're doing the arms up single chest press that you see Mini-Me doing up there. Perfect, let's do one more here. Deadlift, finish the row. Beautiful, now put the dumbbells just off to your side because we're gonna need them for our weighted bridges. Let's get down to our T push-ups. From the knees or the toes, if you can do a good looking push-up, spread the fingers, screw the hands into the ground. Take a look at the top of your mat. Now lower down into push-up. Good, rotate either on two legs or one leg, top leg straightening if you're doing the modified version of the T. Up, when you come up, that hand lines up with the shoulder. It's not gonna fly back. You're being really deliberate with that arm. When you're coming down for your push-up, are you able to get yourself low, 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 low? Good, good. So if you can get a couple of good ones in as opposed to a half a dozen sloppy ones, that's my preference. So take a breather anytime you need to. Grab a sip of water. We've got time for one more push-up, one more tea, and on the back. All right, so. Glute bridges. Now we can also go really heavy duty and place a dumbbell on each side of the hip. Feet hip width apart. Cassie's like, thanks, Auntie PJ. <laughs> All right, heels are close to the bottom hip width. Let's squeeze the glutes. And again, you're just holding the dumbbells with the hand. You're not lifting them up. Makes sense, right? You want the glutes, the hips to take the load. So this is called a bridge. And right now we're doing a weighted bridge. If you feel that this is really just firing up your hamstrings, I want you to bring your heels in a little closer. If it still feels just hamstringy, not a lot of glute involvement, get rid of the dumbbells. And this is gonna sound, you know, it's not perverted, but I want you to place your hands on your butt to palpitate and see if you are tightening into your glutes. Sometimes that tactile sensation of feeling the muscle helps you fire it. Going into deadlift to row, here we go. So let's keep those heavy dumbbells. 
Now our feet are hip width apart, all right? Pull the shoulders back and down. Draw the belly button in like somebody's coming to sucker punch you and you're bracing for that impact, all right? Three, two, one, and come down. Good. Now do the row. However, if anyone ever tries to sucker punch my niece, they got to answer to me. <laughs> Here we go. Pull up. I think you could take care of yourself though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she boxes. <laughs> Good. So here we've got whole back a chain of the body. Everything from here down into the back of the knee. All of those muscles that are from shoulder to back of knee are working on this. We call this a posterior chain lift. We have a couple more reps, and then we're moving into our last circuit, and we'll continue on with a brand new tricep and release. All right, let's just put the dumbbells off to the side. Okay, T push-ups. Now, with this being our third set, maybe you want to try them from the toes, right? Give it a try, see how you feel. So let's get set up. Hands just a bit wider than shoulders. Screw the hands into the ground. Come down to that push-up. Now lift up off the knees and rotate into that T. Good. Back down. Good. So you want to finish each one. When we do the push-up, Finish it. When we do the T part, the rotation, the side plank, finish it. Don't float into one sloppy move. Arms extending straight up, lined up with the shoulder. Oh boy, little chicken arms are going, aren't they? <laughs> Last set though. Weighted bridges are coming up after this, so we will give the chest, triceps, and the wrists a bit of a break. All right, crew, let's do one more. Come down, 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 finish the T. And here we go. All right, on our bums. We've got one or two dumbbells. You want one or two? Two. Two? Okay. And hang them just, if you got two, you're just hanging them off the um, sort of end of each hip. Again, like I said last time, heels are close to the bum. That's going to give you more glute activation. So if you want to actually make this more hamstringy, because maybe you've been told to strengthen your hamstrings, you know, walk the feet away from the bum and you're going to get a little bit more hamstring. This is why I aim to coach you on every workout, because I want you to be armed with information so that you can really excel in your workouts. We don't have music on the YouTube channel. We don't have music on over 50 fitness. I don't believe in that. You play the music that keeps you motivated at home, but it's our job here on the mat to coach you. I'm not here for my own workout and to listen to some hip hoppy music and just act, you know, expect you to follow me. That's not how we operate. All right, deadlift to row. So feet hip width. Nice and tall on the spine is where you start out with. And then we're going to do some softness in the knees. Three, two, one. Let's go down to the deadlift. Row up. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Come out of the deadlift. Perfect. Kaz is doing a really good job at keeping that neutral spine. Now, for those of you that don't have me standing beside you, <laughs> telling you whether or not your spine is neutral, and if you don't have a mirror available to you, in the future, maybe sometime today, just do a few of these in front of a mirror just to do a form check. Sometimes we think we're doing it correctly and then that visual will say, oh, okay, maybe I need to, you know, get a little bit more neutral in the mid-back. Sometimes people quite round that mid-back area. Now we're moving on after this and we're going to use these same heavier dumbbells and we're back down on the mat. And release. All right, so let's get you down on the mat. Feet this end for me. So what you set up for a chest press. So lie right down for me. Dumbbells in hand. <laughs> Good. Shift down for me. All right. Now, as your dumbbells are just slightly, your elbows are slightly in front of your shoulders. As you press up for a chest press, lift your bum up at the same time and lower. Good. Up and lower. So moving bridge, more glute work. I really want to strengthen the glutes, especially if you're part of this 29 day series that we're doing, right? We need strong glutes in order to keep the hips, low back and knees happy. Now, when we're done this, we're going to stand for a reverse lunge to high pull. And I'll quickly demo that one because it's going to be a new one for a lot of you, Cassidy included. <laughs> Let's do one more. All right, so you might want to drop down and wait a little bit. 
A reverse lunge, you know what that is. So we'll do the reverse lunge, but then when we come up, we're gonna do a high pull and come up off the heels. Other leg, reverse lunge, high pull. All right, so let's give it a try. Oh, the hair, the hair, we gotta fix the hair. So reverse fly, or sorry, reverse <laughs> lunge. <laughs> and up, good, other arm, leg. So we alternate, there we go. Up, that's it. So feet hip width apart. So right now Cassidy's feet aren't hip width. That's why she's kind of struggling. All right, step back. Nothing like being called out on that, right? <laughs> to 110,000 people that watch this. <laughs> there you go. So here we've got a combination of lower body and back muscles and shoulders. Finish that high pull. Woo, baby, time. All right, now you're gonna keep those light dumbbells for me, everybody. Cassie's gonna bring her arms up here so that the palms are facing. And it's like you have a shelf resting on those triceps. Abs are tight, then from there, you're gonna rotate one arm only, press and close, and the other side. Here we go, open, press, and close, good. Now when she comes in, she's gonna turn the palm so it's facing her. Perfect. So as, as soon as it comes in, it starts to rotate. Good job. Now, the core has to be super tight here. This is why as trainers, we love working with dumbbells. Right now, I'm hitting those deep transverse muscles of her and you by doing a shoulder exercise. If we were seated comfy in a machine doing this, we wouldn't be working those core muscles of yours. Now this is our last move. We're gonna go back to that chest press with moving bridge right now. So maybe switch out your dumbbells because this muscle group can take a little heavier. Let's get ourselves down. Now for our setup for the chest press is elbows, line them up with shoulders and then bring them slightly forward. Good, back arm on mat and press up, bum up. Good, now dumbbells are gonna touch center just above the chest. Now the reason, gang, I don't want you guys lining your elbows up with the shoulder, and I used to coach like that many years ago, but now we're seeing that that really puts the shoulder in a precarious position. So let's bring the elbows forward a bit, keep the shoulder joint in a safer position. So for some of you that have been with me for a while, you've seen my coaching evolve, and it will continue to evolve because I will continue to learn from people who are a heck of a lot smarter than me, and then bring it here for you. We're standing for that reverse lunge to high pull in five, four, three, two, one. Good, way to get that one out. <laughs> All right, so once again, we got reverse lunge, high pull. Reverse lunge, high pull. So come up here, three, two, one, everybody. Let's do the reverse lunge. Good, hands in front, high pull. So hands are gonna come a little bit down to the knees before you, that high pull happens. So you're gonna come down, up, perfect. And then we want feet hip width apart and step back hip width. So this one you gotta really think. I can see the wheels turning on Casty here. <laughs> now she's having a really tough time with her balance because she's in bare feet, right? She doesn't have the support of her shoes. And I love that she's in bare feet and I encourage everyone to train in their bare feet. But if you are all over the place and you're in bare feet, that's why. Good, again, up, pulling up, pulling up. Yeah, that's my girl. Arnie press in three, two, one, release. All right, so that Arnie press, we're gonna start now with the palms facing. Knees are soft, you're really rooted. Again, like I'm coming in to sucker punch you, but we would never do that, okay? Here we go, let's take an arm, bring it out. Press up, good, rotate, other arm. Cassidy, you have beautiful form with this. <laughs> Your little shoulders are gonna love this exercise. So here we are, we're getting internal rotation, external rotation, pressing up, medial head of the deltoid and the tricep. So a lot of stuff's happening here. As you bring that arm out though, don't let your body rotate. So almost think about you're standing against a wall. Let's do one more each side, and then we move into our final round on the mat for chest press. Good job. All right, so chest press, moving bridge. 
So where's our setup, gang? Well, let's get elbows lined up with shoulders, everything on the mat, and then let's bring the elbows forward a bit. And then wrists on top of the elbows, good. And press the bum up and press up. Perfect. I don't know why for some reason I wrote, I put my timer on for a workout on my watch and saying, are you completed your workout? Yeah, I actually haven't even started it. <laughs> so pressing up, good. So this one, as well as the T push-up where you saw Mini-Me, the arms up single chest press are really good subs for push-ups in future workouts, whether they're mine or you cheat on me with someone else, okay? Push-ups aren't your jam due to shoulder, wrist, neck issues, or you just hate them, and I can't get you to love them or try them, then I would rather you do something, and this would be it. All right, reverse lunge to high pull. So remember, it's a power move. So when we high pull, we want to come to here to high pull, and then up. Okay, feet hip width, everybody. Arms in front, give me that lunge. Good, knee bend, high pull, yes, there you go. You got it, and you're smiling too. <laughs> there, so a little power here, some strength, a lot of balance. Last one here. Now, how far you step back for that lunge, hopefully by now you know you can just tap back if the knees don't like a big deep lunge. My advanced people, knees are coming awfully close to your mat. Let's do one more. Finish the high pull. Good job, nice job. All right, so our Arnie press and we alternate. Palms are gonna stay facing. You can have the elbows, you know, like they're resting on a shelf or slightly lower and then pressing up. Here we go, three, two, one, and one arm. Now we wanna keep that whole body still, right? So we're not moving through the trunk. Beautiful. We're moving into our final tri-set after this exercise. Now on this exercise, Maybe you can do a bit more weight than you would do for a shoulder press. But now it should be a bit of a struggle. If it's not, then make a note. Next time you do this workout, because I hope you do, you'll do heavier weight so we can really challenge the shoulder. Last time. All right, so the next one, I'm just gonna quickly demo, is a curtsy lunge. Dumbbells in hand for intermediate advance. You'll do a curtsy lunge and then come up and pause with the knee up. Other leg, curtsy lunge, come up, pause, and knee up. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, so curtsy lunge. Good, and now let's do a knee up and pause it. Good, we're gonna pause it even more. Here we go, curtsy, knee up, pause. Good, other leg. So why are we doing the knee up? A couple of things. I want you to work on how to de-accelerate your body. Super important as we age, because when we trip or something, sometimes people don't have that muscle memory on how to decelerate, and we just end up falling and breaking our wrist or shoulder. Second, we are training a lot of core here by having to stabilize. Third, we have to use our brain a little harder for this. We're just not mindlessly doing an alternating curtsy lunge time. All right, now on this guy here, we want to bend here. I'll talk you through it, Kels, or Kels. <laughs> hey, Kelsey, Cassidy, arms at 90. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the workout. <laughs> All right, you're going to come up to shoulder height, everybody. Now bring your knuckles so they point to the wall behind you. Bring them down, lower down. That's called the Cuban rotation when it's hitting the rotator cuff. So you might not be able to lift as heavy as you normally do in a side lateral raise. Kelsey slash Cassidy's doing a great job. I have no idea where Kelsey came from. Good. Can you guys feel that? Can you feel that in the shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> Time. 
All right, on this one, Cass is gonna go to her side. What we want is a hip hinge, knee soft. Dumbbells are gonna be just behind the body and then we're pressing them back and slowly coming back. So here is triceps with a little bit of mid back. So press and then back. So we're not coming all the way forward because I want constant tension on the triceps. We've got rear delt, we've got some more rotator cuff, and then we're using all of the muscles in the lower spine to hold this position, and then the legs are fired up. <laughs> oh, how do you like this one, Cass? Yeah. This one you can do, gang, too, if it's really too much with just um, a broomstick. Quite often in my personal training sessions, that's how I'll start this one. Now this is our last one and then we'll give the poor upper body a bit of a break and go back to that alternating curtsy lunge with that knee and pause. Let's do one more. Nice, all right. So get set up into feet hip width, okay? Pick a leg, doesn't matter which leg, we're gonna alternate. And we are stepping back and again, dropping down as deep as it feels comfortable for you. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, and then knee up, whoop, <laughs> and then other side. So why do we like curtsy lunges so much? They incorporate a little bit more glute. They also tend to be, I find with a lot of people in my community, they've commented, it doesn't bother their knees as much. So hopefully you're experiencing that as well. Last 10 seconds, and then a side lateral raise to Cuban rotation. Knee up, pause, find that balance, find that stability. One more, knee up, pause, and release. All right, so this, you definitely wanna drop your dumbbells for this, because hopefully you had heavier for those curtsy lunges. Elbows at 90, okay, good. We're gonna face center here. Elbows can come forward a bit, not too, that's it. Now, it's like you're pouring water out of a jug, and then back down and center. Good, nice, nice form. And then what are you doing with those abs? You're drawing that belly button in, you're bracing that deep transverse abdominal muscle. Good, see some beads of sweat there. <laughs> How you doing, kid? <laughs> And as she's doing this, you know, it's really, she's got wonderful shoulder mobility. You want to make sure at home you're not jacking the shoulders up to the earlobes because your mobility might not be as good as hers. Time. All right, so this is our straight arm back presses. And at home, if it's really getting tiring and you're losing your form, drop the weight. If you don't have any lighter weights, just, just do go against gravity, no weight. All right, sorry, cast not you though. And press. <laughs> I also find that this is a really nice shoulder mobility drill because we are moving that shoulder back. It doesn't go back a lot in life. So we lose that mobility. So you might feel a nice stretch through the front of the body as you press back. Breathe out as you press rear. That's the hard. But as I've mentioned in my videos before, just be concerned first of just breathing. And then once you've got the move, then we can coordinate your breath. Couple more reps, you guys. We're moving into our last set. Curtsy lunges in three, two, one, release. All right, so switch out to heavier dumbbells, everybody. Okay, you want heavy because the legs can take it. We start with the curtsy and then we do the knee up with the pause. You ready? Let's go. Three, two, one, and go. Down, knee up, pause. Good. I just realized, do you have a banana tattoo on your ankle? <laughs> she has a banana with legs and arms. We, um, Cassidy was my flower girl when she was five years old, so 30 years ago. And at the very end of this workout, we found a photo of me and, and her and my other niece, who was my other flower girl, and we'll show it after. So you got to stick around to the end. Let's do one more here. Knee up, finish it. 
Excellent. All right. Side lateral to Cuban rotation. So don't have the elbows too far back. I want them right beside the body or just a little tiny bit in front. Okay. Arms are at 90. We're going to keep that 90. And now let's bring them up. Like there's strings at the top of the elbows. And that's what's pulling that elbow up, up, and then rotate. <laughs> these get heavier with every set don't they yeah yeah <laughs> just keep breathing this is our final set we'll stretch those shoulders out in less than three minutes so hang in there crew last 10 seconds here see if we can get one full one up up rotate Parallel to the ground and finish. Woo! All right, final move. Straight arm press backs. So feet are hip width for me. We've got that slight knee bend and hip hinge. So almost like we're doing a row, but we're not as far forward, okay? Palms are gonna face behind you. And now let's press back and release. Back and release. Now I'm gonna be really mean for the last 10 seconds. And we're gonna hold those arms back and pulse it. I know, I know, I'm like your favorite aunt in the whole world. I am her favorite aunt. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> okay, a few more here, and then let's hold it back. One more normal. All right, now bring it back, hold it, and pulse it. Little pulses, breathe. Come on, you guys, you got this. Pulse it for four, three, Two, one, release. Woo, baby. Good job, you. <laughs> Great job at home. All right, let's stretch those muscles out. What do you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, please. So you guys, we're going to be seated. If you'd like, you can place a pillow or something under your hips. I always love that or a yoga chip block because I like the hips higher than the knees. Or you can sit in a chair or you can sit like us. All right, let's take a bent elbow, place it across the body, stretching into the rotator cuff and deltoid. Hopefully it feels good. Cassidy is marinating in this right now, loving it. So this workout was designed to, and this is how I actually personally train my clients, this is how I train, where I'll do one exercise for the front of my body, like my pecs, triceps, front shoulder, and then I'll move to a leg exercise, and then I'll move to a back exercise, working mid-back, lats, low back, or a combination of all of them. Let's take this arm behind, and then multiple sets. Now, once you've got that desired stretch in the tricep, lean away. So I've mentioned this before. You know, the basics are will actually get you fitter. And then hopefully I present the basics to you in a fun way each time so that you keep coming back. And then I quite often do the same workout for multiple weeks, switching up either my weight or the intensity, my reps, my sets, or even the speed of my movement. Release. Other arm across. So let's do a bent elbow though. I find that that gets into the rotator cuff a bit more. And hand in between the shoulder blades, walk it down, and then lean away. And the lean is just giving us a bit of a side body stretch. Stretch into a grouping just under the armpit called the serratus anterior, in addition to a little bit more lat. And those are your big muscles down the sides of the back. Release. Let's give our forearms some love, starting with the forearm extensors. Arm extends, fingertips down. Use your other hand to now rotate the fingers away from the midline of the body. So you're going to feel this stretch. Keep holding at home, right at the top of the forearm there. If you experience issues with tennis elbow, this is a good stretch for you. 
The arm is straight but not locked out. So just be aware of that for those of you who do tend to lock the joint quite easily. And other side. So we start with fingertips down and then we just guide them away from the midline of the body. And release. Let's get into the glute now. Bring the hands behind, feet in front. Good job. Now let's take your right ankle, cross it over the knee, and then push yourself forward and say hello to that right hip and glute. Now the closer your chest is to the shin and the closer this foot is to your bum, the more intense the stretch is. So you can dial it in to where you need to be. Now I like to get some movement in my hip joint too when I'm in this position. So the foot that's on the ground, I want you just to windshield wiper nice and slow side to side. And that's gonna take this right leg for a ride, marinating into that right hip a little deeper. All right, now let's bend the elbows, exit that leg, other leg comes up press ourselves forward, and maybe flex this foot too so we can protect that knee a bit. And then from there, you can make those adjustments. Bring the heel closer to the bum to make it more challenging. Press yourself closer to your shin, or just hold it where it is. Sometimes we don't always have to fight to be more flexible. You just want to enjoy it. And now let's go side to side. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> Stick with me, kid. I'll show you a few things. And release. Last stretch. Let's get into those hamstrings. Legs are going to come out in front of us. Backs of the knees are pushing to the ground. Feet are active. All right. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. And this is where I will al allow you. <laughs> this is where you can round the back a little bit. Yes, this is where I'm going to allow you. Um, but normally I cue hands behind, but let's get a little bit into the low back as well and just let ourselves drop over the front thighs. Hands can rest either on the mat beside the legs, on the shins, or if you're super bendy around the feet. And then as we hold the stretches, that first tightness that we felt that made us stop where that stretch is, that's going to go away. For some areas, it might take a couple of seconds. For others, it might take like 10, 15 seconds. But that's where you could encourage yourself to go just a touch deeper and breathe and hold. And come on up. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And Cassidy, I look forward to seeing you in the next workout. Listen, you can also help this video out if you're here on YouTube by clicking that thumbs up button so it gets found on the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> and whether you're watching these ads free on Over 50 Fitness or on YouTube, please drop a comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.